You're with BBC World News. I'm Sally Bundock with the business headlines. U.S. motorists have been urged not to hoard fuel as a major pipeline remains shut following a cyber attack. North Carolina, Virginia and Florida have declared a state of emergency as petrol stations begun to run dry and prices went up. The UK's financial watchdog has opened an investigation into the collapse of Liberty Steel backer Greensill Capital. The Financial Conduct Authority said potentially criminal allegations had been made about the circumstances of the financial firm's failure. It comes as former Prime Minister David Cameron faces questions over lobbying for Greensill. Australian airline Qantas has delayed its plans to resume international operations. The carrier had planned to begin flying overseas again from October 2021 and was selling tickets for most of its network beyond that date. It now says the restart date has been pushed back to December. Uber and Lyft are set to offer free rides to anyone travelling to or from COVID-19 vaccination centres in the US. They'll be available within the next two weeks through the taxi firm's apps until the 4th of July as part of the government's efforts to increase vaccine take-up. The White House announced the move on Tuesday. Those are the business headlines on BBC World News.